there, and welcome back to another episode of Mary's Makes and Men's. Today I'll be showing you how to make wedding bow ties. Weddings are really expensive. I know when I got married, I DIY'd everything that I could to bring down the costs. These are really easy to make, and depending on how many you're making, you could have them done very quickly. I made these ones up for a friend's wedding in September, and I love how they turned out. I used a satin material to make these, but you can really use whatever fabric you'd like, just as long as it's rigid enough to hold the bow tie shape. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make your own. You'll first cut out a square that's 5.5 by 6 inches. Then you'll need a teeny tiny square 3 by 2.5 inches. I made my neckties 22 by 2.5 inches. These bow ties will be adjustable, but if you're making a particularly large or small one, you'll have to change the length accordingly. You'll need some type of bow tie hardware. I was able to buy these ones online, so I can link that below for you. And here are all the materials laid out. I also chose to include a piece of interfacing half the size of the big square. This is optional, but it will give your bow tie a bit more form. So the first thing I did was I put a zigzag stitch all along the edge of the big square. The material I was using frays really easily, but if you don't think you'll need this, then skip this step. Now fold and pin this square lengthwise with right sides together, like a hot dog if that's how you remember it. Leave a small opening in the middle. Sew this with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Don't forget to leave that gap in the middle. With the seams open, press this piece in half. Now if you're using interfacing, apply it here to the side without the seam. If you're not using interfacing, pin these seams closed anyway. Sew these seams with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Cut the corners at an angle. This will reduce bulk when you turn it out. Now turn out the bow. I use a chopstick to get the corners really crisp. Press this piece flat. Now you're going to fold the bow into the shape you want and place a pin here in the middle. Sew here down the middle. Now we're going to make the middle knot piece. Press the two widthwise top seams in about a quarter of an inch. Top stitch these seams. Now fold it right sides together lengthwise and sew this seam at 3 8 of an inch. Press this seam open before turning it out. and then press this piece with the seam in the middle. Fold the knot piece over the middle of the bow with right sides together, so the seam will be exposed for now. Sew the knot, make sure not to make it too tight because we will have to turn this piece out in a second. Now take the knot off of the bow and turn it out. Then 
Then I use the safety pin to slip the bow back into the knot. Now on to the neck band. First press the seams at either end, wrong sides together, at a quarter of an inch. Top stitch these seams. Press the neck band in half lengthwise with wrong sides together. If you already know how to make bias tape or binding, that's essentially what I'm doing in this step. We're then going to press either side inwards to the middle seam. Once everything is pressed, press this piece again while smoothing it out and ensuring the seams match up. Pin this together. and edge stitch it. Press again. Now adding the hardware can be a bit confusing if you're not used to it. If it still doesn't make sense after watching this, then find something you own that's adjustable like overalls, a bra, or a guitar strap, and see how it's put together. First on one side of the neckband, put one of the clasp pieces through the neckband, fold over the seam, and sew it like this. Now on the other side, feed the adjustable buckle through so the neckband is covering the middle bar. Then feed the other side of the clasp in. Now pull out the neckband in the middle of the adjustable buckle enough that you'll be able to feed it through again. Feed it through the farthest side first, then through the other side, and pin it to the far or bottom side. The lighting wasn't all that great when I was filming that last step, so this is what you want your strap to look like. Now we're going to feed the neckband through the knot of the bow tie. And the final step is to hand stitch your bow tie in place on the neckband. Make sure it's in a position where you'll still be able to adjust the bow tie. And now you've made your very own wedding bow ties. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you make some of your own bow ties. If you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more DIY videos like these. Bye for now!